the corridors of power in Zimbabwe are once again buzzing with whispers of intrigue and speculation as President Emerson Umningagwa has embarked on a sweeping reshuffle of senior Central Intelligence Organization CIO bosses. The Standard has reported. This move, coming amidst a simmering power struggle within the ruling ZANU-PF party over his succession, has raised eyebrows and fueled concerns about the direction of the country's political landscape. Amningagwa, who ascended to power following the 2017 military coup that toppled longtime ruler Robert Mugabe, is currently serving his second and final term. However, his recent announcement that he will retire in 2028. Following reports of military opposition to a campaign by his loyalists pushing for his rule until 2030, has done little to quell the succession anxieties within ZANU-PF. The reshuffle within the CIO. A powerful intelligence agency deeply embedded in the country's political fabric appears to be a strategic maneuver by Umningagwa to solidify his grip on power. Several sources have indicated that the exercise saw the elevation of officers perceived as loyalists. Further reinforcing the perception that Umingagwa is determined to maintain his influence beyond his current term. One of the most significant moves was the deployment of visitor Jerry Mutum, who previously headed the CIO's close security branch, to Equatorial Guinea as Zimbabwe's ambassador. He was replaced by Victor Miga, a close relative of the president, further solidifying the perception of a power consolidation strategy. The reshuffle also saw the appointment of a new deputy director, identified only as Mass Hander, and the promotion of several officers to the position of assistant director. This move, according to sources, is part of a wider strategy by the 81-year-old leader to ensure the loyalty of the CIO, a vital institution in maintaining his grip on power. Furthermore, a number of acting provincial intelligence officers were confirmed into their positions further solidifying Mingagwa's control over the intelligence apparatus. The succession issue is causing a lot of tension and mistrust in government. One source confided, highlighting the undercurrent of unease that permeates the corridors of power. The reshuffle in the CIO followed a similar exercise in the Zimbabwe Republic Police CRP where a number of senior officers were retired. The president promoted people that he trusts. These transfers and promotions come at a time when there are reports of security breaches at properties associated with the Mingagwa and his close relatives in government. Sources have revealed that there have been two breaches at different properties owned by the president, including his house under construction in Barrowdale. His son, David, who serves as finance deputy minister, has also faced security breaches. His Harare house was broken into on two separate occasions by intruders who allegedly left bullets on his bedroom doorsteps. The house was also engulfed by a mysterious fire. There was also a break-in at the offices of Tourism Deputy Minister Tomai Mingagwa at the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. These security breaches, coupled with the recent reshuffle within the CIO, have fueled speculation that Mingagwa is facing internal threats and is taking steps to secure his position. The recent reshuffles are not isolated incidents. In 2018, four CIO directors were retired in what the Director General Isaac Moyle at the time described as a restructuring exercise. Last month, Umingagwa retired 67 senior police officers in a major shakeup of the ZRP. Some of the police commissioners that were promoted to the position of Deputy Commissioner General upon retirement were David Mahoya, Erasmus Makodza, Kutakwash Mubimi, Priscilla Makatos, Winston Musa and Richard Mahoya Baira. Twelve assistant commissioners were promoted to commissioners upon retirement. A similar reshuffle of the police force occurred soon after the coup when then Commissioner General Augustine Chihuri, a Mugabe loyalist, was forced to retire and went into exile. Zimbabwe's security forces have a long history of being heavily politicized. In 2017, the military intervened claiming to be saving ZANU-PF from defeat in elections scheduled for the following year. As Mugabe had intended to appoint his wife Grace as his successor, Zimbabwe National Army Commander Lt. Gen. Asalam Sanyatwi recently courted controversy after declaring that Zimbabweans would be marched to polling stations, whether you like it or not. 
and that the ruling ZANU-PF party would rule forever. Alan Gari, the Africa Advocacy Director at Human Rights Watch, expressed concern about Sanitui's utterance, stating that it threatened the integrity of Zimbabwean elections and that the involvement of security forces in politics was unhealthy. The Zimbabwe military commander's open endorsement of the ruling party not only threatens the fairness of elections, but opens the door for security forces' abuses against voters. The Opposition and Civil Society Organizations Gari said in a statement, Zimbabwe's security forces need to comply with the country's laws and regulations that uphold its international human rights obligations to ensure that elections are free and fair. Meanwhile, Umingagwa has sought divine intervention, appealing for prayers from members of the Johann Marange Apostolic Sect to ensure his continued rule. You will continue to see me here as long as I am alive and continue to pray. He told thousands of church members gathered at their Mafariqua shrine in Manikaland's Marange area for the annual Passover. I am here so that you pray for me so that I continue to rule and rule. And continue to be alive. Apostolic sects have emerged as one of Umingagwa's strongest support bases. The recent reshuffle within the CIO, coupled with the growing tension over succession within ZANU-PF, paints a picture of a country on edge. The security breaches at properties associated with Mingagwa and his family further raise concerns about the level of instability within the country.